Are you having a bad day? Well, this video should cheer you up and put a little bit of positivity in your life. Not like this guy. <laughs> oh, what up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! <laughs> yes. Yes, the old... Let's take a moment of silence for the old girl. This is what originally started the channel, kind of. Uh, this is what inspired me to do YouTube, was the U.S. General custom card I made. And of course, after I did this, several other people started replicating this. Uh, clear, and clear up into the point to where even they've done them with two U.S. Generals on top of each other. So, uh, and if you don't believe me, you can look at the dates on the video. Once again, you can't replicate the dates on YouTube. Once they're stamped, they're stamped. But, uh, yeah, I have a side shelf. You know, I have the paint can holder, the U.S. General. And, obviously, the topic of this video is custom tool boxes. Now, I've got a couple of buddies, and I've accumulated these um, pictures for quite some time. And I want to talk about why you sometimes don't need to buy a new toolbox. Why you can just get by with what you're doing. Now, I did this for a reason. Because I wanted to, A, uh, try Harbor Freight again. Everybody had been talking about the U.S. General Cart. They were so cheap. They were so attractive. I had to try it. Now, I put custom bumpers on here. As you see, I bought all this stuff. And there's a video out there. Uh, I will put a link to it in the description. Uh, it's one of my top videos. One of my top 10 videos uh, on my bit channel. I think it has like 30 some thousand views on it but i'll put a video it's pretty boring uh as far as how i talk and everything i was new to youtube it's just that's how it works on youtube when you first start you're nervous blah 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 anyways long story short i wanted to fully customize this thing for a budget and i had three i gave myself 400 dollars. i ended up doing this for 375 bucks now granted once again this was three years ago so obviously inflation's happened. I probably guess and you'd probably take you five five fifty maybe to do it now, which is you know it is what it is. But I digress. Let's get into some of the other boxes. Oh, and just to get acquainted, uh, if you don't know, these are my toolboxes. I have a Cornwell, the Mac Maximizer, uh, not that one, and the Jesse James. These are my or uh, not the Jesse James. This clear coat brush steel one. I, these are my toolboxes now. Now let's talk about custom ones since I just passed this one up, but this is an old taco cart and he's put some wrap on, he's actually put stickers or some sort of wrap, maybe it's comic book stickers and then on a Matco box, which that's irrelevant, but he's customized, this one over here in the corner is really what's cool, painted the handles, painted the drawers, customized it, made it nice, uh, very cool, um, this one was quite a while ago. A buddy of mine did that he sent this to me he says, hey man and used, people used to send me pictures of their custom stuff all the time and it was really cool you can even and, and you can obviously buy custom toolboxes my whole point of that was is to show you my stuff was is that you know they had back in the day custom toolboxes like this these are one of the first ones where they started doing when jesse james was with west coast choppers and you could buy cut limited edition custom boxes and i spent the money on kind of doing a custom deal on my box but you don't have to buy these types of toolboxes to have some pretty neat ingenuity ingenu uh innovative toolboxes in my you can do stuff like this and it's really cool and people like me really find it to be cool uh, a couple sh shout outs robert uh i can't remember his last name i apologize robert maybe if you comment he bought a home ec box a couple of them 14 foot long and then you have scott seidel um the uh greasy shop rag uh, he has a YouTube channel. Scott has one of the most customized U.S. General boxes. And I completely love it. I think it's awesome. And uh, it's cool what he did. He's made some really cool modifications to it. Uh, of course, you could buy stuff like this at garage sales. Which I know this is a brand name. We're getting into the good stuff. Trust me. You're going to want to keep watching. Because there's some pretty cool custom boxes coming up. But you can buy some of this stuff at a garage sale. My buddy bought this for $100 at a garage sale. Uh, another buddy of mine has this. In his garage, I thought it was neat because he took a cabinet, laid some pedboard in it, and has this as a little deal. And I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. I like this stuff. This is what really, uh, it's a conversation piece amongst anything else. 
but it's also really cool because this is all he needed for him uh he needed it for him and his wife to do some stuff in the house and that's what he had uh one another you know and then they have custom ad additions you can put on your box too but this guy didn't want to put a side locker on and he he was perfectly fine with setting up stuff like this which is still you bought and you know it's not really that customizable but still i like it then i had a buddy who's a welder and he wanted a toolbox and a table combo so he made this what a cool piece buy himself some casters and uh literally made this thing and what a what a sweet unit i thought this was very well built very cool he's got a shelf he's got his toolboxes he's got a big table on the casters all lack locking all swivel of course another guy just wanted to add a u.s general but he wanted a blue one but he didn't like the handle so he painted the handles and added that to his top box uh another buddy of mine you know and still i i find that to be hey he made it work for him i don't judge people like this you know i think it's cool when you when you do with what you can and you want to save yourself some money that's fine by me and now i have another buddy who's well, he's got two of these and i'm going to show you two pictures of this but this is a really cool box too uh he took an old old couple of boxes and put these together and made this on one platform and made himself work he works in an industrial area so he has two of these but uh yeah and then it's got a nice sliding locking cage on the back so he can store all of his cans and stuff like that and then the end cabinet has another uh cabinet for pulling some storage in it but once again i love the ingenuity of this design here's his other toolbox uh this was his more bigger this is the bigger one he had for a lot of his tools you can see he has it labeled i don't know if i can zoom it in far enough there but he had wrenches screwdrivers all everything and i thought this was really cool old wire at waterloo in fact that top box right there uh is the first waterloo that's the first type of waterloo toolbox that i own uh first bigger uh, my first one is a professional i own the craftsman first actually my first one was an ammo can which you'll see in that picture i'll show you in that clear coat but uh i still like it this is cool look at the frame heavy duty big casters even got a lock stop uh he's got power but he's got a creeper holder here on the side there's your there's a stop on the foot piece right there but uh it's the creeper holder he has all sorts of holders in the back there he's even got power supplied to it and uh he's even got a big pry bar holder uh that's what the tubes are for holding pry bars but uh and i think he had something he slid over the back i don't remember what it was uh, he told me but the customization he made the toolbox he, he built a toolbox he didn't want to spend any money on a toolbox because it was a job he was only going to spend uh he was only there for working for i think six or seven years or something right after until he could get up to his other to he could get to his career that he wanted to do but nonetheless he said i didn't want to spend money on a toolbox because i wasn't going to be there for life for, you know he didn't he didn't plan on being there for life now here's an idea that me and a buddy of mine had been working on and i told i've talked about this several times i said this would be a really sweet setup for someone to do who's just getting into the business this would really be a really nice working deal honestly i would have went two boxes two of the carts so we built a platform here on rollers and then two side lockers but i think if you added another u.s general cart underneath instead he put up we put a box down there that he had it because it fit perfect and was flat but uh he just put a box down underneath there to open up and it's just a old truck box with two latches on it but the two lockers honestly so he had what he said we had less than a thousand bucks in building this and this is a very very spacious he fit he put in, he put as much tools in there as i did in one of my mac boxes one of my big back my mac boxes no joke because all the case stuff he soared in the side and then he even customized a little bit in the side which i didn't get pictures of the inside of it i should have but uh in the inside of it he actually uh on the pull, he made some pull out drawers in there for some screwdriver and stuff like that he added in some drawers in there but very very ingenuitive in my innovative in my opinion we worked on this and it was i was so i really wanted to do this on my channel and i should have but uh nonetheless this is a great idea for you anybody who's wanting to i think this is awesome like this box tons of people always complimented on them so at the end of the day you can start off with buying something like this and make it what you want or you can start off with one of the tool cards i know you know i don't condone harbor freight ever but you can find them on marketplace start with something as cheap as possible and turn it into whatever you'd want all you have to do is having a little bit of imagination 
and can-do attitude, and you can do whatever you want. Now, I'm not saying that what I did, I got rid of mine and I should have done this, maybe, but I do have some plans in the future. You'll have to wait and see what I got going on because I've always got something going on in my in the old brain box upstairs, and I've got some plans for some stuff. There's always plenty of stuff in my head to do in the future. That's what YouTube is great about. I get to explore my creativity, and you guys get to enjoy it, and I don't have to be stuck with just making... Uh, going around going, hey, I should do this, you know, I can actually do it, and you guys support it, uh, and if you don't, you'll tell me, <laughs> and and then it's, but uh, I really like the fact that I can do this on YouTube, and it opens up on creative, but anyways, guys, that's the video for you, I hope you enjoy, uh, there's my first toolbox right up there, that ammo can, green ammo can, but I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell, remember, keep your hands dirty, and your money clean, thanks for watching.